two budesh monk a senior and a junior were walking through the forest they came across a river flowing through their path to continue their journey they had to swim through the river and cross to the other side there was a woman who was sitting at the bank of the river she didn't know how to swim and requested the monks to carry her to their to the other side budesh monk take a vow of celibacy they are not supposed to even look at women let alone carry them the junior monk politely refused but the senior monk put the woman on his back swam across the river and dropped her safely to the other side without saying a word the junior monk was aghast that the other monk has broken his vow but did not say anything and hour passed as they traveled on then two hours then three hours finally the agented junior monk could stand it no longer and asked why did you carry that woman when we took a vow why did you carry that woman when we took a vow as monks not to touch women the senior monk smiled and said brother i dropped the woman on the bank of the river a long time ago however it seems that you are still carrying her around in your head i had read this story a long time back but remembered it it went recently dwelling on my past in my way that was starting to interfere with my present but once i visited this story or the story visited me there was a change in my perspective mind fog cleared there was a change in my perspective my mind fog cleared and i could see things in a better light we all go through times in life that lead us to hold on things better life on other side of the river and yet we continue to carry them in our minds and continue to hurt ourselves we choose to ruminate over past action or event even when i ultimately weighs us down and swaps our energy consider investing not accepting your mistake to avoid looking like a fool and thus holding on a bad business is a behavior exactly like what the above story convey or carry baggage a bad business in this case from the past that you know it not worth carrying but you continue to do that for a reason like i want sell before i get my money back or selling now is like accepting a mistake which which won't look good on my investment track record this is what behavior scientistically call lose awareness and regret awareness our attempt to avoid losses and regret in the future because we don't drive pleasure from them so this cause us to carry the baggage from the past sunk cost faculty is also to play her we avoid changing our original decision just back because we have spent too much time money or energy into them remember that a sunk cost is nothing but a baggage and must be dropped if you realize it is worth carrying reality is that that bad business you are holding on to even it become a small part of our portfolio will continue to occupy a large part of your mind it will continue to remind you of what could have been or how you were such a fool to make such a bad decision i have been through this and so i am taking purely from personal experience look at this beautiful illusion from tim wade but urban if you allow the past in investing or out of it to consume you will never create the future you want and deserve learn from cars that have large wind shields but small rear view mirror because while driving you must look ahead most of the time and look behind only occasionally life is designed like that to drop the baggage from the past loss guilt sunk cost regret expectations not met and stop looking at the doors that closed behind instead surge yourself tap through the door in front like the senior monk let go to the past with this bags leave what is not required leave what is not worth holding on the press forward